All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the new Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. I recently on my channel played through the 360 version of Dead Rising, so having both games fresh on the brain, I thought it'd be fun to make a video and compare between the two games and just kind of give my overall opinion. I guess just to start things off, first thing that I pretty much noticed was the difficulty. Just because of the more modern controls, the gameplay and the AI, the overall, I guess, experience of the remaster is easier and smoother compared to the original. And during my playthrough, I noticed that compared to my other run, this was way easier. Survivors aren't just standing there yelling, Frank, Frank. Instead, they're at least attempting to fight or just full sprinting past multiple hordes, just like straight up, just like full like body checking them, stiff arming and everything. I originally got this game for the PC and the game ran fine, but whenever I would run OBS or NVIDIA and try to record my my screen, it would cause the game to have like these micro stutters. And I didn't know if anyone else was having this issue before. Um, I didn't really see anything on it. I don't know if Denuvo had anything to do with it, but um, I just refunded it and then I got on Xbox and it was fine from there. Something I wasn't sure about going into this was the different voice actors for the characters. I would say the original has the better Frank and better psychopath voices, but the voiceovers for the survivors and even getting to hear Otis is a really nice change. I feel stronger already. I'm not sure if it's the nostalgia talking, but especially during the grocery store fight and the butcher fight, I thought the original voice actors were way better. Specifically, the grocery uh, clerk, I always forget his name. You know, like the cleanup register six just wasn't the same. Like, I don't know. He just didn't get the same vibe that the original voice actor had, at least in my opinion. Also say the mall music is absolute butt cheeks. Not as rememberable. None of the bangers. They don't got Wonderland Plaza like they used to, bro. You can't just take that out and expect me not to notice. A real bummer situation before this game even dropped was a lot of people were upset about the censorship. Like I noticed Cliff no longer calls you a communist anymore. Or another change was that you can't score erotica points anymore. To me, these weren't insane or crazy changes, but the comments I saw were talking about in like a super negative way. Such small minute details, but apparently were enough to make people dislike the game even before playing it. Which is fine if you don't like or support the new remaster. You can just go play the original. It's the same classic game you still love and remember. This is just a more modern version of that same game. And I think if you like the original, you're probably going to like the remaster. It just felt like I was doing another playthrough of Dead Rising. It was the same way I felt during the RE4 remake. Overall, I was happy with my experience and I would recommend this game to people who have or haven't played the original. To returning fans, like I said, this is in my opinion a just more polished version of that same game. And to the new fans, it's a classic game re-released and I feel like having your first experience be on the remaster isn't a bad way at all to enjoy the game. I did experience some random and funny glitches throughout my playthrough and I'll show some examples. I had a few T-posing zombies, there was like some weird twitching or freaking out during the Barnaby meltdown, and a couple more small random glitches but fortunately nothing game breaking. It's hard to say something that hasn't already been said about Dead Rising. It's a 360 launch title that while super clunky and while having the most toe curling like stressful moments in a game, it's an amazing experience. It's fun. It's like who, who doesn't love Dead Rising? It's an amazing experience that I believe the remaster captured again and just polished it up a bit. I'd say check it out if you're interested, but also no shame if you want to wait a little bit, like get it like when it's on sale, especially if you're not in like a crazy rush to play this game or anything, you could probably wait like six months and get it for like 35 or 30 bucks. I just want to say before I end the video, I haven't experienced seven days survivor yet, so I have no clue the level of difficulty there. I also didn't really go too in depth into most of the achievements. I got a decent amount on my playthrough normally, like just casually picking them up on my playthrough, but I haven't gone too in depth into the remaster. So again, take all this with a grain of salt. This is just my opinion on the game after my first playthrough and after recently playing Dead Rising, if it means anything. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, I want to thank you for your support. I hope you have a great night. Be safe and peace out, y'all.